Hello pretties, I'm Ember Witch, and welcome back to Vampire. Now, if you guys do not remember, the last time that we played Vampire, um, we had the leader of the hunters come in because the preacher, Sean Hampton, went and turned into a skull and killed the angry little old lady uh, Harriet, Harriet Jones, and um, which I'm sure there are some people that are happy about that because she was a little on the rude side, but <laughs> but with that being said, we have to go out and destroy him because now the hospital's at risk of being taken over by the hunters. So we gotta go, not to mention there's plenty of people that are now in danger at the docks. So we're going to go find him, take him out, and then we're going to go from there. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. You are a very rude woman. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or... And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Mr. Throckmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. What can you tell me about the... Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's impossible to protect F But it's my duty. So, I patrol late. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. What kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Wow. Do you need my medical attention, sir? I appreciate your concern, but I'm perfectly fine. Thank you. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throgmorton. <laughs> Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. 
Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. That would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Seems like the guard of Prewen is on Sean Hampton's trail, too. You! Don't like that, do ya? Where's he gone? I hate lynching! Watch yourselves! There's one of them! Oh. Sent you to hell! are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Dude. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. You really think I 
should go back to a safer place, miss. No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Quite a long face, Doctor. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day, so saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. Oh my. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze. Never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor. Meals laid out before you. Yet you restrain. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her? Of course. But she was lost, separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the Divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Hmm. I have to see for myself. But your sense of purpose and calm gives me some relief. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment.
place to go because they're just so damn difficult. I have this thirst for blood. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is despicable. escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again! The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally! A touch of lucidity. Oh, no. So learn to respect the laws of Ascalon! How are you gonna comprehend? Oh, he be boy. He be be boy. I know one be be boy. No. No, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it. I'll only try one more time. I can't do it much longer. to respect the laws of Ascalon! Dare challenge the dictates of Ascalon?
Last you vanished, I slaughtered these scalps while singing your name!
shall be a fair skull to adorn my mantle. Return to your apothecary and needles. I shall crush you. doing that for three hours holy fuck oh man I had a dream I was king woke up still king oh shit
please be dead. Stay dead. I just want to fucking cry right now. At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. This is our domain, not yours. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. But thank you. Okay. Old Bridget. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget, and this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Ekon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon, but I sense your pain. Ask, and I will afford you my attention. Why was that creature after you? Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What the hell was that thing? He wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire society's elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he revealed our location. Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? Maybe because he is the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the Sewer Skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof <coughs> Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. But her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Wow. <laughs> Alright, after this with Harriet Jones, this might be the end. For us today, at least. Oh god, there she is. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them.
How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I, I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Whoa. Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. Wow. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. Really? Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Oh, you'd leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Yes, I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet, always alone. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. The good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows. They heard me and answered. Something in the deep darkness. Quick. Deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered, yes. And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me, and now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again, <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Oh, shit. Okay.
Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? The vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. For it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Why do you live here, amongst the filth and vermin? Live? Here we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are Skulls. Groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon. But it will remain mine. Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. 
I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You make no distinction between the living and the skulls, do you? We are God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned Skull now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Oof. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Who is this old Bridget? I don't know, Doctor. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I will strive to emulate your merciful nature, Sean, but it's a difficult pledge to make. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Okay. 
So, I'm not gonna leave it here. We're gonna finish this. But, I don't know whether I should just spare him or if I should turn him. Because if I spare him, he can eventually go bad. Or Harriet can eventually go bad, or something could happen. Jonathan's right. But at the same time, his faith alone has kept him from murdering people. His faith, his personality, his life before he was a skull has made him peaceful. He's not a violent creature. If I turn him, he can do just as good. I'm gonna turn him. My discoveries. Vampire blood would enhance your metabolism. Perhaps even heal you, if what old Bridget says is true. I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. You have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel. Those still amongst the living. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth? <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. I can't imagine God intended for you to be molested by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said kneel and drink. Now. could not kill him because it would greatly suffer about the same like the district would suffer about the same time he couldn't stay the way he was either Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Okay, look here. You are not... you're a fake. So... How exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewen? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. 
So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. Here for us. You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire, Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. Oh, man. Stop fooling yourself. You've never faced a vampire before. You wouldn't stand a chance. Well, that's not true, sir. I've already faced one of these creatures. Oh, really? <laughs> and you're still alive. Well, we... We did not actually fight. I let it go. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I entered the vampire's den. Oh, the stench was terrible. I was ready to kill it. But then I saw it. Just a suffering soul like you and me. I spared her. Tell me about the vampire you spared. It was... She was a girl. Her body was a mess. I could see pus running from the deep wound. She was crying in pain. You cared about her. That's what defines us as human, Ichabod. Yes, but she was a truly evil creature. I'm haunted by the tragedies she caused ever since I spared her. Hmm. Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof like a vulgar log. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. <laughs> Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing, well, it beggars belief. So... I patrol... Can I...? Actually, yes! I... Are you asking me? If you wouldn't mind. I'll have time for you, sir. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. You can tell he's amused. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Oh. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. here for now we have done a lot today we have found Sean found out what happened to Harriet took out the well I guess you could say the meathead for the Ascalon society I think that's how you say it and we spared Sean we made we turned him so he would not turn mindless and now he can continue on what he's doing with the righteous path of the Lord air quotations and he can continue helping others as he likes. So I am so, so happy that I actually got to do that because whenever I first um, messed with Nurse Crane's mind, I thought that was gonna be the best solution. And in the end, it actually devastated her neighborhood. And now I have no clue of knowing how to fix it. And actually, I don't know if I'm ruining anything, but in the last episode, I, I cut it out, but in the last episode, I was running around, I was trying to find everything, trying to get past guards, 
and I ended up stumbling across her clinic. So I went to go see if she was still there, and she was a monstrous skull. Like, her face was bloated like something from Resident Evil 4. So, I don't know whether or not I have to fight her later or not. But, that is what's going on with her now. And I feel so bad for the people in that community and for her, but at the same time, she couldn't do what she was doing. So I'm actually relieved that after all my damn hard work, Sean's not gone. He's not, he is not anything. Like he, he wasn't spared so he wouldn't hurt people and he wasn't killed and destroyed the community. He can actually go about his life the way he intended. So we can do good. All right, so this is all for the video. If you like what you saw, please cast a spell on that like button and share, share, share. My name is Ember Witch, and I'll see all you pretties in the next video. Bye.